Now Mr. Lover Lover She call me Mr. Bombastic Tell me fantastic Touch me on me box She says I'm uh, Mr. Ro Romantic Call me fantastic Touch me on me box She says I'm uh, Mr. Ro Smooth What go on people, it is I, Sour Bows, and I've got an OU match against Granit Gliger, his link will be down below, and this is using a team that I made during the time when Exedro and Thunderous were still in OU, and it's probably my most successful, te yeah, successful team that I've used, since I really do like this team, as it is using, um, did I say it was a hail team? I probably didn't, but I'm not even sure. But anyway, yeah, so let's look at the team real quick, shall we? So this is what the Hell team basically looks like. I am using Scar and Bliss, which I really do apologise for. I am so sorry for using such a quote-unquote gay method of battling, since it's so hard just to bring a mixed attacker, isn't it? Tragic. Tragic. Sarcasm aside, there's also Tentacruel and Latias. Then you've got... The two oddities, which obviously is a bomb snow since that's pretty much anti meta game written all over it. And then it's Hariyama, which is my sun counter. But either way, look at his team, the only big threats that I'm thinking of is the Latios and the Starmie, since Starmie outspeeds the rest of well, pretty much all of my team. Then depending on what set the Star Raptor is, it could be Scarfed as well, which could cause some problems. And Breelum, as always, since it is a possible sub puncher. As for possible leads, probably the Metagross, but I've seen lead Latios quite a bit, so I'm just going to leave with Skarmory just to get up as many hazards as I can right from the beginning. So, without further ado, let's get on with the show! So he does decide to lead with the Latios, as I'm going to leave with Skarmory, as I previously stated. I'm just going to go for the Roost, Scouting. What kind of Latios this is? It may be Specs, Scarfed, does he have Side Shock? I want to see what kind of player he is also as well, how he plays. So from that damage and I get to see Surf, so telling me that he probably doesn't have HP Fire. So I'm just going to restart off and I now know that thing Specs. So he's going to actually switch out into his Metagross, possibly predicting my Blissey, which is quite surprising. I don't think he would um, do that kind of switch so early in the game, but whatever. He goes for the trick. Um, tricking me a choice scarf, so which is actually quite fun. Um, this is usually my trick fodder, so I'm quite happy about that. So I just got my stealth rocks. So now that I know he's got trick, probably meteor mash, bullet punch, stealth rock, or earthquake. One, some some sort of combination like that. As he also shows me ice punch right now. As I'm free to just roost up and wall this metagross. He's now going to decide to switch out into a star me, as I'm just going to start laying out the entry hazards just to s stop him from switching so freely. So now what I'm going to do is going to switch out into my Blissey special wall obviously just to take the special attack obviously. So thinking that I will take this opportunity to switch out into his Breloom, I go for the flamethrower but he decides to stay in with um, the Starmie since I'm guessing for him that because I am choice locked I'm not posing much of a threat but Life Orb is wearing him down but then I realise obviously that because he stays in that also means that he has recover which he does shows me right now. Also I'm thankful that he isn't that he doesn't go for Rapid Spin or that he doesn't have it. Either that or his Cloister does have it, the Rapid Spin. Fortunately for me he actually switches out his Starmie and goes into his Latios predicting some sort of switch but with this I'm able to get up my hail and the Latios get some stealth rock damage since with my EV special attack EV investments I know that I'll be able to take out this Latios when it's around 70 to 60 percent. So as I'm going to switch into my Blissias death fodder as I'm, my own hail is going to take me out which is excellent so that means that he won't get switch into as I'm going to switch out into my Hariyama predicting his obvious switch as Latios will prove to be very useful as I'm just going to go for the low kick. Now, depending on min-max variation, I'm poss I think I'm going to be able to take this thing out with another low kick, thanks to the hail. He does go for the meter mash, which does miss, which is quite unfortunate. You should be run iron heads. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but as you'll see later on in the match, this did not matter, as I'll do a calc for you when the time comes. 
Granite Gligo is going to take this opportunity to switch out into his Breloom. To he does take some entry hazard damage, but I know he's going to go for Spore as because he does have Stealth Rocks up. Tentacle is the most useless thing on my team, as so it'll be very useful sleep fodder basically. So now that I do have my sleep fodder. I will be able to proceed to wall this Breloom with my Skarmory as I'm going to switch that thing into it right now. I was predicting the sub as I usually just assume that every Breloom is sub punch, but he goes for the Seize Bomb straight off the bat, so it kind of t tells me that he doesn't have Substitute, maybe it's a Swords Dance variant, and the Hail reveals that uh, he is faster, so what I'm going to do is predict his switch into something else. But he actually stays in predicting that, which is a very good move on his part. but. Either way, my Skarmory can t take that hit for days, as I'm going to Whirlwind him, as I'm hoping he's going to be Whirlwind to into his Cloister or his Star Raptor, and the Star Raptor does come out, which is excellent. As I'm able to learn that this Star Raptor is banded, look at the damage, which means that the only threat I really need to take out now is to star me, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm thinking he's probably going to, because he is banded, he's probably going to stay in and close combat one more time, hoping I'd go for the spikes or some other non-attacking move. So, as he goes for the close combat once again, I'm hoping that he's going to switch out into his Starmie the next turn as I go for the Brave Bird. And because of the collateral damage with the Brave Bird, his Starmie will have no choice to either keep recovering or to take me out with the Thunderbolt, which I can then switch out into my Bomber Snow and then KO with the Stab Wood Hammer because it will not be able to switch out. The Starmie will not be able to switch out due to the Stealth Rock and Spikes damage. So let's see if that happens. And yes, he does go for the Thunderbolt, which is excellent. So now I lose my Skarmory, but he is just pivot fodder for my Obama Snow, which will proceed to KO the Starmie as he does go for the recover this turn, as I'm just going to take him out with the Wood Hammer. Since, as I said before, the Starmie was the only thing I was worried about the entire match, as it does outspeed my all my Pokemon, basically, since... Uh, it outspeeds Lati Max Speed, Timid, Latias, and my Scarf of Bomb Snow, so I've only got enough speed to outspeed the Thunderer. So I am choice locked into Woodhammer, so I'm just going to use my Tentacle as Death Fodder, seeing as it's the most useless thing on my team. Unfortunately, I lose my Sleep Fodder, sleep fodder but you know, what can you do? It's a small price to pay, as I'm just going to get killed off by my own hell once again, which is excellent, since I'd rather not waste any turns. So thanks to, now I know that this thing is at around 70-60%, Blizzard will be able to KO knocking that Latios right out as he switches in to his Cloister which will go for the Shell Smash which is pretty obvious, I mean what Cloister doesn't have Shell Smash these days? Apart from a defensive one obviously. As he gets his plus 2 attack and speed, but it's fine since Hariyama, this Hariyama does have thick fat, as I said before this is my sun counter as well, so all fire and ice moves will be halved and I am physically based in Pish max attack, no HP investment and you can see I'm no, with no HP investment I'm 4 to 9 HP. And this is where I said the crit did not matter on the, well no sorry, the miss with the meter mash did not matter as Adamant's leftovers meter mash would have brought me down if he got max damage to 214, as, as you can see I lived with 238, so again it did not matter in the slightest, as I'm just going to leave Hariyama Sleep Fodder, since it's pretty much my game right now. All I need is a safe switch into my Obama Snow and clean up house with Blizzard. Oh, and I think he misclicked or forgot about Sleep Claws, I have no idea what just happened there, but whatever. Either way, it's, like I said, it's my game right now, so good game there, Granite Gligar. One of the better matches I've had with it when I was using this team since most of them were pretty lopsided. But regardless, check him out, his link will be down below. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the other side.